this week's plant of the week is the psychedelic sky butterfly bush. That was kind of neat because I was hoping that Maestro would capture it, but when I walked up to it in the nursery, there was probably 10 of these in a group, and some of them had just a small flower bud that was open, kind of a leftover, if you would, and there was probably two or three butterflies still on it. So very big, very big butterfly attractor. Also hummingbirds in full bloom, they'll, they'll come in on this guy too. Nice gray-green foliage, good backdrop plant in a bigger bed. Uh, and then you could plant some type of a contraster down in front. You can use greens, but oftentimes variegated yellows and purples and other things uh, make the bed pop and come alive a little better. It will take shearing, especially after the first big bloom. Let that first bloom come in. After winter, it'll, you'll see the big cones that will start up. Don't prune in thin. You're taking off the best time of year for it. After that first bloom, go in and selectively prune out those big ones. Look for the secondary ones coming out and enjoy it for probably four to six months. Yep, psychedelic sky butterfly bush. Kind of a dwarfer one. Only goes to about six feet tall and about five feet wide. Loves food before the bloom and then loves food about mid-season. It'll really keep the foliage going. It'll keep the bloom activity going. So, Psychedelic Sky, Bud Leah. Check it out. See if you can find it at your garden center or your mom and pop nursery. You can also find them online, I believe, too. All right. Hey, I'm Matt. You can call me Coach. I'll catch you guys next week. Check out the other educational videos I have and some of the other plants of the week. You just might find something you really like. All right. I'll take care. I'll see you next week.